Welcome to Kamikaze Video Drone. That's Miracle Max. And that's Kamikaze Mike, and we're here to talk to you about the comics you could be reading. New, old, graphic novels. By Crom, let's get started. So, uh, my girlfriend Caitlin, uh, played a pretty cruel prank on me. Yeah. Uh, this week. Do you want to know what it is? Sure. She told me uh, Batista got nominated for Best Actor. <laughs> oh, really? Because <laughs> she keeps up to date on all the uh, those awards and stuff, and it's and I got really excited. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but you know, coming down the pike, soon to be everyone's new favorite superhero. Now that there's a movie coming out. Ant Man, not played by Batista. Not played by Batista. Batista. <laughs> Batista's Ant Man would be something to behold. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to talk about this book because all I'm going to think about is Batista as Ant-Man. Caitlin! It'd be, be great. But the new Ant-Man series was really fun. It came out this week. Yeah. Did you like it? I did enjoy it a lot. I love Scott Lang. Yeah, he's he's one of my favorites too. And I got into him uh, Alias during Alias when he was uh, Jessica Jones' right, sort of right. deadbeat boyfriend. He wasn't yeah. a deadbeat. I shouldn't say that. But he was sort of just like an awkward guy. He's like an awkward boyfriend they would like go out on a date. So, I actually related to Scott Lang a lot because he is. Uh, he's always had, like, uh, just he's always kind of been like third stringer on the cusp of being a second stringer. Yeah. Um, but he's such a great guy. He's um, he's got such a good backstory too because usually the the criminal is not looked at as a sympathetic character in mm -hmm. superhero comics. You know, the average on the street bank robber or a grifter or whatever, they just get punched in the face and they're going to be back in, you know, in some other form on the street. But uh, Scott Lang is, is, he's a character who's trying to make the best of his situation. Yeah, and, he's an ex-con. Yeah. Um, you know, he's, he's divorced. He has a kid, which I always thought was one of the coolest aspects of his character is that he's a single dad. Yeah. Um, although they, in recent years, they seem to have brought in his ex-wife and her new husband. And Cassie, his daughter, is also a superhero yeah. with size-changing powers. Although she was. Well, she was. She was. And then she died. Spoilers. So did Scott Lang. Scott, so, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. I was really into Scott Lang, and then he died. And then Bendis got hold of him. And then Bendis killed him. But Bendis was the reason I liked him to begin with. So, I mean, there's... there's... Oh, you got to go back and read, like, the David oh, I have. Michelini I, stuff. I have. It's, I own all those issues. I really like him. They're, it's it's cool. He's a great character. And this is an awesome new chapter for him. Uh, mm -hmm. It's written by Nick Spencer and uh, uh, Ramon Rosanas does the art, and... Don't know him, but it looked yeah, I mean, good. Did, it was yeah, good he, stuff. He did a really good job, and I, I'm usually not a big fan of Nick Spencer. I liked, um, I like, I, I I liked his last little run of Avengers that he did, which was fine. Oh, the Secret Avengers stuff, yeah. Um, and but the um, I think this is super. But like to Morning him. Glories and like uh, I heard Deadly Foes Spider Man's good. I gotta check that out. Apparently, Tom. Um, shout out to Tom. But this was really good, and this was like. Really fun. There's a great scene I loved where he's trying to um, uh, use his. He's just trying to brush his teeth and he's out of toothpaste because he's such a schlub. So it just shows him in the next panel just sitting in the toothpaste tube brushing his teeth and there's like a mountain of toothpaste around him because when you're Ant Man, you can make the best out of a bad situation by turning time. Same with his, his daughter, you know? They want. He's, he's got his daughter for the weekend. Um, mm -hmm. She wants to watch a movie. He doesn't happen to own a TV right now because mm -hmm. he's kind of a deadbeat. So what do they do? They shrink down together. They sit on a nice little... Uh, I forget what the couch is made out of. It's like made out of Matchbox or whatever. And they watch it on an iPod, which is going to be like a huge TV. Yeah. There's, uh, there's a lot of clever ideas that Nick Spencer has used just in this first issue. Yeah. And I think could uh, definitely be used throughout the series. Um, and lots of people just go, Ant-Man shrinks to the size of an ant with the power of a human, to use that old SNL joke. Um, they just give him short shrift, no pun intended. But all you got to do is just be a little creative, and Ant-Man takes on a whole he, new it's easier, cachet of, of coolness and powers and utilization. It's going to be such a cool movie. It is. I mean, I don't want... And, you know, movies get enough hype as they mm -hmm. are. But the cool thing about Ant-Man is that... His big cosmic universe is just ours, but just way bigger because he shrinks down. It's about so perspective. It's about perspective and how everything is beautiful. You know what? Sure. Why not? 
Almost as beautiful as that cover. That's if we iconic. Get, if we get that in the movie, which we are, oh, that would be awesome. It's gonna be cool. I especially, might, if I they, might die in the theater. Especially if they give Hawkeye his little, little wolf his, ring. his real hat. His real hat. <laughs> he should wear a helmet. I know Jeremy Jeremy Renner, handsome guy. That's fine. But if you're gonna be in the middle of like a war zone, you should probably wear a helmet. Um, for more safety tips. And comic book subscriptions, come by to Kamikaze, check out our comic book subscriptions. We got all sorts of good stuff. Tresh and Renee will tell you about it. Hi, I'm Tresha. And I'm Renee. And at Kamikaze, supporting your local comic shop means discounts for you. Did you know that by subscribing to just one title, you are granted a 10% discount on all new comics and graphic novels? We only ask that you stop by once a month to pick up your discounted titles. We also offer excellent mail order subscriptions that are delivered right to your front door with free shipping included. So support your local comic shop in a meaningful way. Become a Kamikaze subscriber today. Next on our uh, top 100 graphic novels that you could be reading, in no particular order, um, John Burns' Avengers West Coast. <laughs> Try not to laugh. This is great stuff, and really, actually, quite, quite instrumental in in the Scarlet Witch's current development. Oh yeah. This is where it all went down. Yeah. Um, she's Burn it's... just totally deconstructed her in the Vision. Yeah. Which is, they're one of my favorite relationships in comics. You know, mm-hmm. you got you got this probability controlling sorceress, and then you have like the most advanced robot to ever exist. Synthesoid. Synthesoid. Sorry, my apologies. <laughs> um, but I'm a big fan as well. Uh, John Byrne, he's the man. I mean, um, he's just a great artist. He 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 is he is all of that stuff. <laughs> um, and he's in later years. He's pretty hit or miss. And uh, to me, his heyday was his Fantastic Four. Yeah. But after that, he jumped onto the Avengers West Coast. This is collected in two volumes. It's 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 great. Definitely read it. Um, Max and I both highly recommend it. But uh, for our indie selection, we have Thief of Thieves by Rob Kirkman. Who's that guy? Um, you did a little thing called The Walking Dead. Oh yeah, that's a TV um, show. Right? Invincible. If you like any of those, definitely check out Thief of Thieves. It's his, it's his uh, high drama, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Heist book. So every, yeah. every it's all about this one thief who is just the best thief in the world. And he doesn't want to do it anymore, but he gets, but just when he thought he was out, they pull him back in. in. Nice. <laughs> uh, what do we got for our all ages book? Why did you do all ages? Because I I okay. usually just want to say kids book, but all ages we're means all kids that, at heart. Yeah, that's what yeah. it means. Uh, Reed Gunther, cool book. Um, it's fun. Yeah, he's like a he's like a cowboy and he rides like a bear <laughs> and um, he fights all kinds of of weird like like zombie robots. And, I love Freak of the and, Week comics where yeah. you know every issue. They're fighting a new monster or, or a new bad guy. Yeah, and sometimes it all ties together. You got someone, you know, And sometimes monster. it doesn't. Yeah, and sometimes it's just monsters. I think it puts the comic in comic book. It's good stuff. Definitely check it out. Read Gunther. Good for all ages. All ages. Um, and finally, for a DC book, we have the super popular Superman Red Sun, which is an Elseworlds, which is uh, DC's What Ifs. Uh, I love the Elseworlds book. This one is right up there. We talked about Mark Miller in The Ultimates. He also writes this one in which he asks the question, what if uh, Superman crashed in communist Russia as opposed to <laughs> so Kansas? Good. It's which so is good. <laughs> really, it, it, it's, it's cool. It's, like, it's, a, it's a book that deserves a hype because it's got really good art. Um, who, do, who does the art again? Um, Dave Johnson? Yeah, Dave Johnson. Yeah. We were just talking about him on the Deathlock Uh <laughs> Um, uh, book, but he, but this is just really cool, and you see all sorts of different versions of the DC superheroes. Wonder Woman's in there. Her character is actually pretty, pretty intact. Granted, she sides with Superman, mm-hmm. so it sort of makes her one of the Reds. But on the American side of things, you have Lex Luthor, of all people, which makes perfect sense. So from a Russian viewpoint, absolutely. I mean, yeah. total like 
corporate capitalist type of guy. I yeah. mean, he's like the epitome of that for DC. It's really cool. And and the book starts off with like a simple concept, gets weirder, gets even weirder. Last two pages get ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's so good. It's really cool. It's Check a it strong out. seller. It's a it's a good book. If you don't have this, get that book. So Video Drum is filmed at Kamikaze in Somerville, Massachusetts, and we got awesome stuff. We got new toys, old toys, new comics, old comics, subscriptions, an awesome eBay store. Check us out. We are the best comic book store on the East Coast, bar none. <laughs>